Okay, what is going on? Today I'm going to be talking about the Mystery Ranch 14 liter gunfighter pack. Um, I love this pack. I love the company. And I wanted to do just a really in-depth review over the backpack. I think it's great for any use, whether you carry medical stuff or whether it's just for school or what have you. It's a really expandable pack. And uh, I also wanted to kind of walk you through my progression into how I ended up in this 14 liter pack. So first, I started off with this Chimera Strategies uh, little belt clip holster thing. It's got some nice clips on it and these are completely um, modular, if you will. It's got little, little molly slots on it. And I carried this on my person or in a car. I could take it off and throw it in a car or what have you. And all I carried in here was a cat tourniquet and some high fin chest seals and compressed gauze. And I found myself wanting to be able to carry more than that. There was more that I really needed, you know, a, a notebook and pens and obviously your phone is a lot of those things, but I found myself wanting the actual physical item. Um, so I left this and I got this which is a really nice, I love this bag. I carried it for like a year. It's an eight liter, eight liter uh, Patagonia Atom sling. I love this thing so much. It was so easy to just flip around and uh, get inside of. I really, really love it. And honestly, I think about moving back to it sometimes. It was just so convenient and it was also not suspect at all. It just, you just look like a casual commuter about town, you know, and I really like that aspect of it. Um, it also came with a really nice waterproof um, bag uh, that you could put stuff in. So I really liked that about it. It wasn't very expensive. I think it was 150 bucks or something like that. But it just started to get too full, which wasn't really a problem until like maybe I wanted to put my lunch in there on my way to work. Or maybe I wanted to put a set of binoculars in there or a pair of wet clothes or what have you just it was filled and it was filled fine but I didn't have any expansion room in it and so I started looking at, at other packs I already had a 25 liter pack but I felt like 25 liters was just too big I didn't need that much stuff and again a part of it a part of this is something you're gonna carry every day so 25 liters it just didn't fit everywhere and so from the Chimera strategies to the Patagonia Adam 8 liter into this mystery ranch 14 liter was perfect for me and I have another 25 liter pack I use that pack when I go camping or shooting or something like that but it's just too big to carry every day in my opinion so here is the solution to that the mystery ranch 14 liter pack I carry it as a prepared civilian I am a father I'm a husband I have a lot of people under my care um, I work a job in a factory, and so I have a lot of stuff that I got to take in and out with me. As an example, I can't carry my pocket knife because inside the factory you're not allowed to have any loose jewelry or anything like that. So I kind of need a place to, whether I'm on my motorcycle or whether I'm going camping or whether I'm going to work or what have you, or if I'm just running to the grocery store, there's just kind of a lot of things that I want to be able to keep on me at all times. And so I got the 14 liter gunfire. So I'm going to. The process of this video, I'm just going to show you around the outside of it. I'm going to unpack everything, and then I'm going to go ahead and repack everything. And when I do that, I'm going to wear a GoPro chest cam so that you can see right into the pack and see exactly how everything fits. I'm trying to make this as in-depth as possible because when I was trying to buy this pack, um, I really couldn't find a whole lot of good information on it at the time, I guess because it was new or what have you. So I wanted to make this video so that people can really get as good of an idea about the backpack before they buy it. Because if you're going to spend 300 bucks on a backpack, you should be able to put your hands on it first. So this is as close as I can get you without being able to put your hands on it. So starting on the outside, um, I just keep a flashlight in this little Molly pouch right here. This is a Streamlight MicroStream. And I really like this light because it's USB rechargeable, it's waterproof, but it also has the ability to slide onto a hat. I wear a hat a lot, so this can become a headlamp. Um, I find that incredibly useful. So on the outside of the pack, we've got the Streamlight, MicroStream. Big music fan, big music buff. Um, music makes time go by a lot faster. It's how we decorate time. So this is a JBL Clip 3 that I keep clipped onto the outside of the bag. Amazing battery life. Bluetooth connectivity is great and the sound quality is awesome. So Bluetooth, JBL, Clip 3. The Mystery Ranch does not fit a full-size Nalgene. Let me get a full-size Nalgene. So you may have one, but if you don't have one, let's see. So... 
This is a full size Nalgene. Um, you're looking at like 32 liters or 32 ounces, I'm sorry. This is a 16 ounce Nalgene. So this is what I'm able to keep inside of the Mystery Ranch pack. I was able to actually keep this inside of the eight liter um, uh, Patagonia pack, but that's a different video, but this will fit on the outside of that. So this is a 16 ounce Nalgene that fits in the outside of here. Going around to the other side, I keep this on here just to be able to um, clip my keys to, like my motorcycle keys or whatever when I'm walking in somewhere, I can just clip them on the outside. And then these are just blood type patches. These are popsicle sticks that I put Velcro on so that you can uh, stick them to the outside here. Um, I don't have anything in this uh, pouch, which is a great thing. Having expandability in your everyday pack is critical, so I can put stuff in here, but I don't keep stuff in this side. Onto the front zip of the pack, I don't keep much in here other than a couple challenge coins and uh, my personal identification, like a car, just in case for some reason I lose my backpack, somebody can find it. And then right here in the front of, uh, of this pack, I keep a regular cat tourniquet uh, that's ready to be deployed. My wallet, uh, a full size pair of diagonal cutters because I really appreciate the leverage that these give you over something like a uh, Gerber NXT that I also keep in here. Uh, these are just great for cutting through small locks or a chain link fence or whatever. This is a multi tool, this is a dedicated tool. So I do keep a full size pair of diagonal cutters in the front of this pack. Also in the front here, I have a hole punch. Um, I use this, I would use this, I have not yet, but I would use this as a glass break. You can put it on the corner of any kind of window, and a center punch has a spring-loaded little device in there. When you press it down, it snaps, and I'll show you later how that works. But um, yeah, it just makes it easier to get access to areas that you otherwise wouldn't have access to without making a big mess and shattering glass everywhere. This is a nice, good option. Also, in the front of this pack, I keep just some Aquaphor chapstick. Um, could be like bootleg Neosporum if it needed to be, um, and some electrolyte tablets. I live in a pretty temperate area, it gets pretty hot, so I like to be able to hydrate myself with more than just water. And inside of there I also keep some cough drops. So that's everything that I keep in the front pouch of, uh, of this pocket here. Moving on to the inside. Um, on this side, I have my glasses, just kind of tucked away. Uh, it's a pair of Oakley Radars. Um, I really like the ballistics quality of those glasses because uh, I don't want to lose my eyesight, so that's what I keep in here on this side pocket. On this side over here, I keep an abundant amount of zip ties. I also keep my pocket knife. And I keep a, about 30 feet of one inch webbing. Um, you know, webbing is great if you're strapped something down or if you need to make a personnel carrier or a makeshift ladder or whatever. Um, this is some one inch webbing that I keep with two climbing carabiners. And I'll again, I'll show you when we repack the bag how I fit it in the pack a certain way. So one inch webbing. This pack has, these pockets on the side are slide through. You can put your hand all the way through them. However, they do have zips on the inside. And so uh, on the inside zips, on this side I don't keep anything. Uh, again, I like that expandability if I want to keep something in there. But on this side, I keep a uh, small pocket New Testament Bible. Uh, going in a little bit deeper, right here on the top, these are not my everyday keys. These have like my, my locks and uh, trailer keys and things like that. So I keep those keys tied up in there. Uh, Pilot. G207, I really like the 05s, but the 07s are great. Um, and then just a, a permanent, super permanent industrial sharpie. I also keep a tablet slidden right here behind this Molly pack, a uh, little Molly patch thing. I keep a, uh, a tablet on me. This is just in case I need to type something up or, I just, you know, expandability. I don't always want to be on my small phone, but I don't like carrying a big phone, so tablet. Um, also inside of here, I have this Flipper Zero. If you don't know what this is, I would highly recommend you do some research on it. It is an incredibly useful device, especially if you're using a lot of uh, NFC or RFID tags. 
this can really help you out. I'm not going to go into it too much, but I would definitely look that up. And I also have in here a USB dongle that has medical repositories on it, um, my own medical information. Uh, but you know, you could also transfer files from a computer to it, right? So it has a lot of uses. And then this is a Wi-Fi development board for the Flipper Zero. Um, so anyway, this is a very protected, useful box. I'm a big time yo-yoer, so I keep my yo-yo stuff in here. Great way to uh, pass the time. And this is a Ferro Concepts Kangaroo Small. I like this because it can go in and out of my chest rig from my backpack, but I use it mostly in my backpack. This is where I keep my everyday items, such as uh, you know field notes, um, uh, you know Zippo. I also keep like phone charging cables in here and uh, beard grooming stuff wall, block charger, USB, and USB-C. And perhaps my favorite item in here is this. It was really cheap, and you can get them um, on Amazon, but it's a USB-C to any device. Micro USB, iPhone, a regular USB. Um, I use this quite a lot. It's very helpful, especially in this tech age we live in where everybody's got all different kinds of chargers and stuff. You can use that to your advantage. So that's what I keep inside the Ferro Concepts Kangaroo. Also keep a deployable backpack. This is great to throw wet clothes in, um, or if someone next to you needs to carry some shit but they don't have a backpack, then you can toss this off to them. So that's a great option. A, uh, a charging block of any kind to keep it fully charged for mobile charging. This is a Rainfly uh, poncho, but it's also a tarp. Um, there's many different types of these. They all do the same thing. At the very bottom here, I'm not going to go into survival stuff because there's lots of other videos on that, but this is just my sustainment survival pack. So there's water tablets in here, there's fire starting um, equipment in here, there's glow sticks, band-aids, Advil, Imodium, um, hyphen chest seals, lots of trauma stuff in here, 32 gauge safety wire, paracord, magnets, all of that is, is kept in this at the bottom of my pack because I don't use it every day. The one thing I will specifically mention out of this is a rat tourniquet. This is for small limbed animals or individuals, and it was developed by uh, people who were needing a solution for stopping bleeding on small limbed individuals in the early stages of GY. So some people will tell you not to use this on children, some people will. Um, I will use it on a child if they're bleeding out, right? So this is a small, small limb rat tourniquet, and uh, super value to have in the pack. Um, this is just a, uh, fire blanket, you know, emergency blanket. I keep other stuff in here, but like I said, there's lots of videos on sustainment and uh, stuff like that. Plus, if you're here, you're already probably privy to what you should be carrying in an emergency situation. So keep that at the bottom of the pack. The last two things inside of this pack I keep behind this zipper pouch right here. Uh, the first thing is a Williams key. A Williams key is a shove knife, and it can be used to gain entry into uh, many different types of doors, mainly like hotels and apartments. Um, if you don't know what a shove knife is, just look up Williams key. Um, I have the foldable one, but there's other ones, but it's a pretty valuable tool that when you need it, you'll be happy you have it. So that's a shove knife that I keep in there. And the very last thing... is a small steel armor plate. This is good for 7.62 um, and down. Uh, at least that's what it's rated for. So I keep the 7.62 plate in there. It is steel. I would never use steel on anything else, but being that it's inside of a backpack, I'm not really concerned with spalling. And uh, in addition to that, it's a super hardcore contingency. This is not something that I'm like really expecting to use. It's just a worst case scenario. If my backpack is my shield, it could be a more effective shield. I just place my backpack over like this and protect some of my vitals. So this is a steel armor plate that I keep inside of the zipper pocket. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put the chest rig on, uh, my camera chest rig, and I'm going to completely load the bag out. And uh, you'll see exactly how I do that and you know all the different features of the bag more up close. So give me a minute. Let me do that. Just take the stuff that I don't use that often, such as this emergency stuff, and just shove it down in there in the bottom of the pack. Also, it's not always raining, so I'll take my rainfly 
poncho is shoved down there at the bottom. And that kind of creates the base. Then I'll take uh, my backpack and my charging block, kind of shove these in the side there. Take this one, shove it inside. And that kind of sets the walls of the pack. Next, I'll take my armor plate, shove it down there. This is what I was talking about, the pasties. These come all the way out. Um, I kind of wish they would have made these pockets, but I found it useful that they're not. But initially I was kind of upset that they weren't just regular pockets. New Testament. Go on this side here. Tablet. It's going right here in this model pouch. Bluetooth key. All right, the last thing that goes in that side is these zip ties. Take these and shove them in like so. Boom, that's a stuffed pouch right there. Okay, next I'm going to take my sunglasses, slide them right there. Because I have stuff down here on the bottom, this doesn't like slide out at all. Um, next is my everyday pouch, shove that in right there, and then we will take the Flipper Zero, shove it in, and you can see how that makes a nice little shelf to throw your lunch pail on or whatever. Yo-yo, it's going to go off to the side right there, and keys, take keys. Right there. This also has a pass through in the top if you wanted to run a hydration bladder, or I could get my keys out from there. Um, but yeah, it does have that, that pass through in the top. So that is everything that goes in the inside of the pack. So we'll go ahead and close this up. All right, now. I'm going to start loading out the front. There goes the Gerber. There goes the diagonal cutters. Take the tourniquet. Electrolytes, aquaphor, you know what I forgot in here, I knew there was something missing, I have to put my pins back in here. Challenge coins, identification. Up. Take the uh, stream light, Bluetooth, water bottle, and that's it. That's the pack. I love it that I have all this room in the front, so I can throw a jacket in there. You know, like 
maybe a heavier jacket or a pair of binoculars or a lunch, you know, just anything, you know, can really fit a lot. And because this has this, uh, the way this is cut and sewn, this is kind of like expandable. So you'd be surprised how much you could fit in here because this actually raises up and puffs out. I and mean, there's a lot of room here for this thing to grow. And grow it will. So that is a Mystery Ranch 14 liter gunfighter pack, completely broken down. Forgot my wallet. And completely filled back up. If you have any more questions or if you'd like to see anything in more detail, please hit me up in the comments. Thank you.